and aging that sounds cool such a massive massive uh question of the human race right stop aging um well, i was reading a book in italy called homo deus which is talking about this a lot what happens if we stop aging and it's actually there's a lot of issues with that right you will have more and more people overpopulation these people don't work anymore uh, uh they're not really part of society anymore uh, as we know 60 70 80 year olds don't work anymore they're not really part of society anymore in the working way but they they decide all the elections right fuck old people there's a lot of issues that comes with immortality man now how long would you want to live 80 years 90 what? like look look at the western world right now our our pension systems are falling apart because people are getting too old when they introduced the the rent system the pension system they thought people get 67 to 70 years old now they get up to 90 years old and the state has to pay for their pension for almost 20 years which is totally telling killing financial systems all across the board man 120 now imagine we get longer. 100 years or 110 and do you think you'll change your mind once you reach that age 50,000 years ago, most humans died very young. As we learned how to use the resources around us to treat ourselves, this got better and better. Today, humans are living longer and healthier lives than ever before. But this has an unforeseen consequence. We spend an ever-increasing part of our lives being sick and in need of care. Yeah. Most of us will die in a hospital bed, which is depressing enough by itself, but we also have to witness the same happening to our Shit. loved ones. Except, maybe, we can stop this forever. The most effective way to treat a disease is to prevent it. Like, I'm thinking about something. Imagine, just let's do some theory crafting, just really objective brainstorming. Imagine right now, someone says, I am making everybody immortal. Every single human is instantly immortal. You will not die. You can be still shot, blah, blah, blah. You can, but you will not die from old age. It will be a massive disaster, I, I think. It will be a massive ecological disaster. People won't die anymore. They will consume, drive cars, etc., etc. They make a lot of kids, and the human, the 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 planet couldn't handle that, and we will be extinct in uh, two hundred years, man. We'll be done in a second, dude. Right? So you have to think. People always think immortality is so cool, but there's many issues coming with it, and um, I think my theory is. The, the 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 way the human race should reach immortality is digitally like the legendary black mirror episode that i think was so genius called um i forgot what it was called you have to make people immortal by uploading their consciousness to a system a server or something transcendence so they don't take space on earth anymore that will be a good way of immortality i think this it saves many more lives if you stop a million people from smoking like a matrix, coming yeah, up with in a better way. chemotherapies so why not put a halt to the cause of all disease, the process of aging? In a nutshell, eight... We could freeze people at the age of 30 so they're always fit and can work and stuff. Uh, another thing you have to heavily, heavily consider is that humans have uh, mental issues very often. Let's say we make everybody 30 years old and they have to work for 5,000 years. If you're being honest to yourself and look at the human race, people will get massively depressed and suicidal after just a bunch of decades. We will have mass suicides, massive depression, an epidemic. You have to also consider that, man. People always think immortality is so cool, but I think immortality would lead to a lot of depression and suicide. Aging is caused by physics and not biology. Think of cars. Parts wear down from rubbing and grinding. Metal rusts, filters get plugged, rubber cracks. Our bodies are worn down by trillions of tiny physical processes oxygen, radiation from the sun, our metabolism. Our bodies have many mechanisms to repair this damage, but over time they become less effective. So our bones and muscles weaken, our skin wrinkles. Getting older is so scary, isn't it? It's so fucking scary. I know this is very grim and people don't like talk about this, but I very often go to home for the elderly, retirement homes, because my grandma lives there and it's the saddest place on earth, dude. I walk in, and there's like 30 old people they're sitting outside and they're just sitting like this. And they're just waiting for death, man. It is the scariest fucking... It, it scares me to death, dude. When I go to the home for the elderly, man. It shows me, dude, you have to fucking... You have to travel and be nice to people. You should enjoy every fucking second, dude. Our immune system gets weaker. We lose our memory and our senses diminish. There's no such thing as dying of old age. 
we'll die because one of our important parts breaks. The older we get, the more damaged and fragile we become until one or multiple diseases take over and kill us. Unnoticed by most of us, longevity research has made some unprecedented advances in the last few years. For the first time, we're starting to understand the mechanisms behind aging and how to manipulate them. Aging is neither mystical nor inevitable, and we might be able to stop or delay it during your lifetime. We'll discuss the science behind it and how scientists are trying to stop it in another video. But first... Also, I have this theory that if in the re realistically some kind of thing is found that longens your life, you and me were not going to get that in the beginning. Let's say a company found a way, hey, I have a thing, you have to take a pill every day, you will get 20 years older. You think you and me can afford that? You think you and me are going to get that in the first decades? It's going to the rich motherfuckers, man. If we could, should we end aging? Is this a good idea? The end of aging or life extension makes many people uncomfortable. We're born, are young, become older, and then we die. This has been the natural order for literally all of human history. And getting old is a good thing, right? We celebrate the idea of living long enough to experience old age. We even call them the golden years. But the reality is that everybody wants to become old, but nobody wants to be old. Damn. Ooh, Think of deep. the Greek myth of Tithonus, Jeez. for example. Tithonus was the lover of the goddess Eos, and probably an amazing dude, because she begged Zeus to grant him immortality so they could spend eternity together. But she forgot to specifically ask for eternal youth. Tithonus was granted eternal life, but he kept aging, unable to die. After a few hundred years, he was reduced to the size of a grape, babbling on senselessly forever. Thousands of years ago, humans already feared never-ending old age. But ending aging does not mean getting weaker and weaker. If you become too old, it's too late. A 90-year-old who stopped aging would die anyway after a few years. Too much damage has been done to his internal machinery. There are already too many surfaces for disease to attack. Instead, the concept of life extension promises to end diseases and with them, the end of a fixed maximum age. We don't know how much we could prolong our lives. We might make every human healthy to the currently accepted maximum age of around 120, or we might <coughs> stop biological aging and disease indefinitely. Nobody knows at this point what's possible. Yeah, I think what, what, what he is not talking about here, that I think it should be open to the idea that the end of aging could be digitally done. Like I just said, the uploading of a consciousness to, to some kind of matrix, man. Okay, but I, I even think if that we could achieve that, far more likely, should we? In order to well, life extension is really just another phrase for medicine. All the doctors are doing is trying to prolong life and minimize suffering. The vast majority of healthcare resources are spent on the consequences of aging. Nearly half of your lifetime healthcare... I remember that the, you have to watch this. One of the craziest things I've ever seen. Go to Netflix, go to Black Mirror and watch the episode San Junipero. Just watch it. Just listen to me. I'm not going to say anything more. Just watch it. I think it's it's such a fucking great concept and idea. You have to check that Costs out. will be spent during so your genius. senior years and another third Whoever wrote during that episode age. is a genius. We are actually already trying to prolong life with our current episode. medicine. Check it out. We're just doing it very inefficiently. Trying to stop aging from happening is not less natural than transplanting a heart, when treating cancer with chemotherapy, using antibiotics or vaccines. <laughs> Imagine you're playing games or you're fucking, oh, my mom's gone, let's watch some porn. And suddenly there's a pop up. Hey, hey, grandson, it's grandpa. I'm in the Matrix. What are you doing, son? Are you you're watching this hentai stuff again? I'm, oh, man. Nothing. You will need a firewall to keep your relatives out. Oh, Humans my God. do nowadays is purely natural anymore and we enjoy the <clears throat> highest standard of living ever as a consequence of that. What we're doing right now is waiting until it's too late and the machine is failing. And then we use the vast majority of our resources trying to fix it as well as we can while it breaks down even further. But life extension still feels hubristic. Most people assume that they will want to die once they reach a certain age, and this might still be true. The idea of avoiding death entirely is off-putting for many. The end of biological aging would not mean the end of death in any way. Yeah, it's still... more like a summer evening when you were a kid the and your shit. mum called you inside. You just wanted to keep playing, have a little more fun during sunset before you went to sleep. It's not about playing outside forever, just a little longer until we feel tired. 
If you imagine a world without disease where you and your loved ones could live in good health for... Yeah, another... imagine in like 5,000 years you have these big servers where all the dead people are on, like the Matrix. Like we uploaded all the dead people to a Matrix, right? Millions, billions. And then some dude walks in. Hey, what's up, guys? I used to make uh, the Paradox uh, multiplayer code. What is this about? And there's a big power cut and just billions of people die instantly because the servers go down. Oh, my fucking God. Another 100 or 200 years. We'll probably how would this day. change us? <laughs> would we take better care Johnny of our planet if we knew we would be around longer? People. If we could work for 150 years, how much time would we spend figuring out what we're good at? How much more time would we spend learning? Would the intense feeling of pressure and stress many of us are feeling right you need, now you need to make go away yeah. or get worse? So asking again, be if you could slow. choose how long to live right now, in good health and with your friends and family, what's your personal answer? What would you like your future to look like? Obviously me, a big, big human question. Right? You're still unconvinced. Very, very big human question, man. Do you want to get old? Do you want to die? Do you want to be immortal? I think the question shouldn't even be raised because you and me, we are unfortunately in a situation where you and me are probably going to fucking die in the next 100 years. You and me, we're not going to be some immortal motherfucker. It's probably not going to happen. So just arrange yourself with it.